Hi, it's Bronwyn from RAP, and today I want to chat about some side-chaining tricks for both the compressor and the noise gates. So, what exactly is side-chaining? Well, simply explained, side-chaining in compressors and noise gates is a production technique that's used in so many different ways to achieve specific results. And how it works is by using an alternative source to trigger the processor. So, how do I use it? Well, let's take a look. I have a synth track, and uh, on the synth track, I have a compressor. And I also have a kick drum pattern. Uh, let's have a look at that. I have a kick drum pattern over here, and there's my synth track. Um, and uh, if I have a listen, let's listen to them together. Yeah, right now it's a little bit boring. It's just a kick drum pattern playing along with a pretty heavily compressed synth. Yay! Ah, but the wonderful happens when we side chain. So I'm going to get the compressor on the synth to respond when the kick drum plays. And how do I do this? Well, I go to the side chain on the compressor and uh, I tell it to look at the track that I've labeled as the drum trigger or the compressor trigger. So now, every time the kick drum plays, it's gonna trigger the compressor on the synth. Let's have a listen. Aha, yes, that's that typical dance ducking, pumping sound. But now, I only wanna use that kick drum as the trigger. I don't actually wanna hear that kick drum. I just wanna hear the effect that it's having on that compressor on the synth. Well, how do we do this? No problem. We ghost it by simply selecting no output so we don't hear what's happening on that track even though something is playing. Let's listen now. Yeah, that's really cool. So let's have a listen in context uh, with other bits and pieces I've got in this groove. Okay, cool. But now, I want to show you uh, the same or similar technique, but this time around on a noise gate. So what is the actual difference between a noise gate and a compressor? Well, a noise gate will turn your signal off when it goes below a certain threshold, whereas a compressor reduces the signal that goes over a set threshold and then compensates by increasing the volume of anything below that set threshold. So let's have a look at this. I've um, got a compressor on that same synth uh, just to manage dynamics. Uh, and then I have set up a noise gate and I have a similar thing happening. I've got a trigger groove. Let's just listen to this trigger groove. This is what I'm going to use to trigger that side chain. All right, but just as in um, the previous uh, kick drum trigger for the compressor, I'm going to ghost this track by selecting no output. So all we've got is um, that groove playing, but we don't want it part of our mix. We just want it to trigger the gate. Um, then exactly as we did with the compressor, we go through to our gate and we go through to the side chain and we tell it to look at what is going to be the trigger. I've called it trigger groove. Um, and now we have a listen to what happens to that synth. All right, I'm going to quickly bypass. Oh, yeah, this is starting to sound really interesting. So uh, what I did was I also added in a filter onto this particular synth in order to make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, this is what I landed up with. So I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.